Hi guys, and welcome to today's episode of Gulucast. So today we're going to take you through, well today I played for a uh, pre-release for Team Up and an expanded league challenge. So I'm just going to take you through both of the decks for those. As you can see, we've got the image of the the pre-release deck up on uh, up on the screen, and behind it, you can see that there's PTCGO is set up, and that's where I'll be showing you the league challenge deck. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I came first in the pre-release, and I went. 1-1-1 one, one, one in the league challenge, but you'll, you'll see why I went 1-1-1 one, one, one in the league challenge. It's not because I'm bad, that's only part of the reason. But anyway, the pre-release was good fun, and I like having played some of these cards. Uh, I think I have a better opinion on some of them, like the Muck is fantastic in pre-release format, which... As everyone knows, is best format. The fact it hits itself for weakness is insane. So it just wins games. The I pulled a the card there at the bottom of the Pokemon is a Rainbow Rare Snorlax and EVGX tag team, which just is insane. I mean, to be fair, I think GX is in pre-release in general. Are insane but that just we won every game pretty much because you start off and you attack with uh, Zeb Striker or Muck and what and they're both need uh, two and one attachments respectively and then once you've done that you just four attachments to Snorlax and you just wipe everything so that's pretty pretty insane um, like I'm not going to go too much into pre-release because, you know, it's pre-release. But all I will say is that I cannot remember what I said about Snorlax and Eevee in my set review. But I, I quite like it. And I think if you can find a way, like maybe one in Malamar. No, that's probably a terrible idea. But if you can find a way to... Accelerate the energy attachments. I think it'll be pretty good. The Zapdos as well isn't. I know I said I thought it was bad in my pre-release. Haven't played it. I've been. I still don't think it's amazing, but it, it's decent. It's decent, and you can be certain that there is definitely going to be a video coming out at some point with a deck idea based around Muck and Poison. So. Yeah, I mean, let's just jump into this expanded league challenge then, I suppose. And this is the deck we played. It's so I was told by a friend that they would lend me a deck for this challenge. It was gonna, I was gonna play Mega Venusaur, and uh, unfortunately, then they weren't able to make it as they were too sick. So. We had half, about half an hour, just over half an hour between the pre-release and the challenge. And I spent that half hour going through people's binders to see what they had spare, to see what I could throw together. And this is the result. So there are, obviously it's not like an optimal list or anything and there are a lot of problems with it. But I mean, for half an hour's work out of what people had spare, I think it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So it's just a Zoro Toad. I I discovered then in the just at the start of the third game when uh, the guy beside me who was help, who had helped me a small bit make this deck said to my opponent that it was control, and I went, oh, "All right." Because I didn't realize it had been controlled, and I'd spent the first couple of games going, "How do you, how do you do this? Like, how does this win games?" But anyway, there are also problems with it. I mean, I don't know if you can see the items 
are missing a couple of couple of note notable uh, cards that didn't make it. There are three trainers mail. There is no Ultra Ball because when we were putting it together, I completely forgot Ultra Ball existed, which obviously is a problem, which meant that it was quite difficult to find Zorks, surprisingly. So yeah, the trainers mail were kind of just there because I didn't know what else to put in. And obviously then in the middle of my second game, I went Ultra Balls, that's what we should have put in. But yeah. Uh, what else is there about the deck? I'll just scroll down so you can see all of it. Base Trainer went in for one reason and one reason only. And that is... Uh, I borrowed it off someone and they had it in German. And the name of Ace Trainer in German is Ass Trainer. And that is the only reason it made it into the deck. Just so I could play Ass Trainer. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's anything anything super exciting to say about it. If I were to build it properly, I would take out the trainer's mails. I'd take out the ass trainer. I'd put in ultra balls. I'd probably put in a third size method. Dousing machine. I can see why it might be useful, but I just... I don't know. I don't know. I also thought that I had three float stones, but then when I had it all together, it was at 61 cards. So maybe it was only two. I can't can't fully remember. That's the only one though that I think. I can't remember if it was three or two, and I was pretty certain about the rest of the counts. So it must have been two. But uh, yeah, I think other than that, let's just let's jump into a game with it and see how it does. And then if we have time, I'm going to make some changes and see if it's any better after having thought about it. I mean, I know it's... Uh, well, what did they call it again? Oh yeah, look, it's expanded. Uh, I know there's a deck that did really well. Uh... A Zoro Toad deck that did pretty well at something, but yeah, there's probably a lot of a, a good few things that are different, and that uh, that deck probably you know did much better at than this deck. But let's let's see how it works here. You never know. I beat uh, the deck. I beat was uh, Rayquaza GX. Just because I flipped double heads on a handiwork and then got one heads on a handiwork the next turn and got rid of like uh, like five or six energy from those. So that was pretty hype. It then meant that he had to try and dig for his last energy in deck to try and get a knockout and couldn't get it. So yeah. Pretty pretty happy with that. That was the that was the win. Second game I drew. Uh, I had two prizes left to take. He had one, and he I he promoted. I knocked something out to go down to two prizes. He promoted. Uh, I can't remember if I said I was going first. But I suppose I start this. Uh, he promoted. Uh, Pachirisu, I had Lysander in hand and VS versus Seeker, so I should have he had a Raikou with energy on the bench so I should have Lysandered that up to knock it out and he wouldn't have been able to he had nothing else with energy but I didn't, I just knocked out to Pachirisu and he got down two uh, things, what you call them Oh yeah, two electro powers and a choice band and was just able to knock out knock out my one hit knock out my Zork, which was a pain. But you win some, you lose some. 
So that one, that actual loss wasn't even because of the deck. It was because I'm an idiot. And then the third one I drew, which was a bad matchup, which I was lucky to draw, I think. Um, Yeah, like I could have done better if I wasn't an idiot. But I was. So what's this? Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Well, we're not uh, not starting off great. So, it's just Skull Grunt. Ah, well, that's nice. We get rid of two of those. And uh, we'll pass there. I also think four water energy. It's probably too much and again we were just trying to make up space because we couldn't we were kind of really tight for time so as to try and not hold up the whole thing too long and we couldn't decide couldn't remember what else to put in but obviously you know ultra balls and there was only two seismitoads because the guy only had two seismitoads you know there was a lot of limitations when building this deck What's he got? Too strong energy? So that's... Well, we'll find out what it is. 70, 30. That's not too bad. Ugh, for God's sake. Well, let's... Skull Grunt again. That's how you know it's going well. When you Skull Grunt twice. Again. Get rid of two energy. Done. Did you top deck an energy? Well, I should have checked the rest of his hand. Ah, well, he can sick him more and just get an energy, I suppose. Well, if he misses it, that'd be great. I mean, I assume he plays four strong energy. I don't know. Obviously, beast energy. Forgot about that one. Which side did I get? Can't have more than three bench. Well, that only matters if you get basics. Which is something we're not doing, to be fair. Ooh, Absorption GX. For 310. Could have nickel, Knuckle impacted. I suppose, but... At least now we can Ace Trainer. That'll be nice. Well, that's a... Uh, Good game. So yeah, I mean, not getting basics and stuff is a bit of a pain. Not running Ultra Ball is problematic. So he just wins. So... Let's go back into it and take a look at what changes I think would probably be best. I mean, so obviously we'll take out the trainer's mail. Drop that to two I think is fine, but I don't know. Take out the ass trainer. Put in four ultra ball. Four. And we've got two spaces left. So let's go for sycamores. Two sycamores. Let's go one sycamore, one. One Cynthia. 
for the crack. Save that. Let's go try it out again. And see if it's any better at all. Probably won't be. But uh, yeah. We'll wait and see. Do 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 do. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it was a, a good day. A fun day. Also pulled a uh, Amphros GX from the pre release and traded it for a McDonald's. Which I think. I think. I got the oh, I'd like to go first, yeah. I think I got the uh the best side of that bargain. Do 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 I was pretty happy with it to be honest. Uh, I mean it's practically a free McDonald's. Except it's not really because I had to obviously pay into the pre release to get that Amphros, to get that McDonald's. But I still think I was the real winner in that trade. Alright, what are we up against this time? I didn't even look at the uh, uh I didn't look at the types. Should have done that. Marshadow. Well let's Oh, I don't know though. Do I attach? I'll bench you. Cause like I don't know what I'm up against. So what if he runs enhanced hammer? Screw it, let's attach. Just in case. That's Cynthia. I feel like that was a bad choice, but we won't be punished. Which is what I like to see. We'll keep that in hand. And yeah, we'll pass there. So what have you got? Play your items now if you can. Ah, see, he has trainer's mail and ultra balls. That's probably a good idea too. Although I suppose only if you have the space for the trainer's mail. Now we we might. I don't know. Hmm. Dimension Valley. Why Dimension Valley? Is he not? Oh yeah. Hasn't even played a supporter yet. What's he going for? What's he wanting to get in the old discard pile? Oh, Night March. Oh, Night March. Well, I forgot Night March was a thing. Takes back teammates. So, how much is Night March? It's 20 times, isn't it? 20 times, so. 120. 120. Do I Plumeria and hope that he doesn't have a DC, another DCE? I think I do. Let's Plumeria and get rid of you and you. Trade. That's a thing. Nearly forgot about that. Get rid of the. Uh, we'll trade away the end because we can secret it back. Bench and quaking punch for forty. Living the dream. So can't play items, which is ah oh, damn it. He's got the DC though. Ah well, 
was a good run. I'm going to trade first, trade away the Bridget. Maybe I shouldn't have traded away the Bridget, but such is life. Um, that doesn't really matter, although I could, but then you'd only get rid of like a Shaman or a Lele, so I'm going to Lele Yes, for Sycamore, I think. Take Sycamore. Uh, Standings work? No, I'm just going to Sycamore these away. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Could Pokecom, but I don't think I want to. I want to bench the Zork, trade uh, Pokecom, can't trade again, so I'm going to Pokecom you for. Another seismitoad? Do I want a seismitoad? I don't know what I want to be honest. Uh, I'm going to take another Zor Zorua. Do I? Yeah, I think I uh, do. I do I take seismitoad? I'm going to take the seismitoad and see what happens. Fury about the seismitoad and righteous beating for ED. Oh yeah, he's weak to fighting as well. Oh well, forgot about that. We are in trouble. Could be problematic. He's hidden for big numbers. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. What do you get rid of? Oh dear. Right, so hold on now. If we can get rid of this, uh, oh, that's a pain, this uh, Marshadow, and then the Joltik. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing in Expanded, I'll be honest. Not a iota. Really tinning through the deck though. He took a special charge, but he's only got one DC in the discard. I missed what he took there as well. Damn it, I wasn't paying attention. Got rid of Rescue Stretcher. Special charge back in. You know what? We could win this if we really. If we believe, and if we flip two heads on a handiwork, 
or we do this. This is also not a bad idea. Um, hmm. Thing is that I don't. Do I enum? I think I do. N to two. And hope I hit a DCE. But I mean, he's doing a lot of damage anyway. But I don't think I'm getting rid of. Like, I could fab it away the DCE. He's got four cards in deck. He's got at least one DCE in there. I think I just N him. N and see what happens. And not hit DCE apparently. I can trade. So I'm going to trade away. Lele and hit DC and Faba. Well, it doesn't matter because he gets a. I messed up because he gets a knockout this turn anyway. Because he's hitting like. What's that? 80, 160. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. He just has to night march for a knockout. Yeah, I messed that up. Oh, wait a second. What? I didn't even realize we were getting a knockout there. So now we just have to hope he can't hit the DCE. I mean, likelihood is, yeah, he could. He could. So, such is life. Such is life. Maybe should have traded before I end to see if I could get the DCE and that way, I don't know, something, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing in Expanded. Pfft. Forgot Nightmare was a thing. I mean, yeah, well, that's the deck that I used in today's League Challenge anyway. that's That was the whole point of this video, it's just to show you what I used and why I didn't win, I suppose, because I don't know what I'm doing. Simple as. Anyway, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I'll put out another video on Wednesday and then again stream some probably Fortnite on Tuesday. Who knows? We'll see. It's probably going to be Fortnite though. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and see you next time.